Hey guys, it's Jeremy from How To Hockey with The Hockey Movement and in this video I'm showing you guys how to clean your hockey equipment. Now my stuff has been sitting in the garage for the whole summer so probably needs a little freshening up. Let's take a look see what the damage is. Things aren't looking good here and it's my own fault for not storing this properly. Uh, so I left it in the damp garage all summer which leads to mold on the bag, mold on the hockey pants right there and there's some mold inside the bag. Also, the skates, they got some uh, moisture effect there, so I noticed some uh, sort of rust happening in the eyelets right there. Those can get popped out. You can get them to your local hockey shop and get them repaired. A little rust on the bottom there, but uh, that, that's normal, and you can get the rivets replaced as well, but you still don't want that to happen. Uh, so moisture is just my enemy right here. Uh, second thing that I did that I shouldn't have done is I left the bag open. That can lead to some surprises. My brother found a family of mice living inside his hockey glove one time. Uh, I've also heard of bees making nests in there, which is a huge surprise if you just grab your gear and run to the rink. And uh, in the south, I've heard of scorpions hiding inside the skates. So uh, zip your bag up nice and tight, and I'll give you a tip to prevent that moisture. Before I show you how to clean the gear, I'm gonna show you how you can store your gear using tips that I should have used, but I was in too big of a hurry. So the first thing is to store it somewhere dry. So if the garage is damp, don't store it there. Unfortunately, it's my only choice. Uh, second one is to make sure it is really dry before you zip it up. Last thing you want to do is have wet gear or even just a little bit moist gear. Zip it up and then put it away for the whole summer because it's going to fester in there. It's going to stink and that moisture is going to eat away at your gear like it did to my skates. Before you zip it up, grab some newspaper. Just take sheets of newspaper. Crumple it up, you can stuff it in your skates, you can line the bag with it, you can put it between your gear. And that newspaper is going to help absorb a lot of the moisture and keep your gear dry. Alright, let's head inside. I'll show you a simple way to clean your hockey equipment without wrecking it. The first thing you want to do is pre-treat anything that has mold or just stinks really bad. Now, you might be tempted to use bleach with the mold. You don't want to do that. Obviously, it's going to bleach the hockey equipment, but it can also deteriorate uh, the parts of the hockey equipment, like the foam and different pieces of paddings and gels and stuff. So keep bleach away from hockey equipment at all times. What I like to use is oxygen bleach. It's a safe bleach used with oxygen. Uh, so this is resolved with oxy out action. So it has that oxygen bleach in there. It's uh, really great for treating your gear. Next step is to throw it in the washing machine. You can do two loads, one with all the soft stuff. You got your jerseys, your socks, including the hockey bag. And then the second load, you can use all the bulky stuff. So the pants, the shin pads, elbow pads, gloves. Some people are worried about washing stuff like this, but remember, hockey equipment is made to take a beating. So it can survive a ride through the washing machine. It's meant for contact sports, slap shots. These shin pads, I've had since I was 17 years old, and now I'm 29. So don't worry about it. I have heard stories about the top load washing machines taking a toll on your gear. So if you have top load, put it on a gentle setting and it should work out fine. For detergent, I just use whatever we have. So in this case, I'm going to use the Apple Mango Tango. Stuff smells awesome. Uh, if you wash your base layers on a regular basis, Under Armour, stuff like that, use this Nick Wax stuff. It's made specifically for uh, Under Armour or base layers. Set your washer to a large load. Put it on pre-wash if your washer has it and soil level heavy. So you got that long wash, get rid of that stink. Two things you obviously can't put in the washing machine, your helmet and your skates, but there are ways you can treat them. Uh, so with the helmet, you can take the straps off and you can spray them. I actually have mold on that, so I'm gonna treat it and wash it. Also, this one I'm lucky enough to have a removable liner. Most helmets don't have that. You can just spray them with an antibacterial spray and then wipe them down. With the skates, uh, same thing. I mean, you can wash the laces if you really want to, no real point though. There's an insole that you can pull out of there. And then for the inside of the skates, I just use Febreze with the antibacterial Febreze. And you spray it and then let it dry. If your insoles are really nasty, like mine, you can buy replacement ones. They're called Superfeet. They work really well. I find that anything you spray in the skates to treat the smell, you have to repeat the process. You can't just spray it in there and then it's done. Uh, you got to do it a whole bunch of times for it to have that lasting effect to reduce the smell. Soft stuff is done in the wash. I took the hockey bag out so I could throw this through an extra high spin cycle and that'll pretty much get all the water out of the jerseys, the socks, the under armor, stuff like that. Uh, the stuff that you can put in the dryer. I recommend that you hang everything up to dry, put a fan on it, it's gonna give you really good results. Uh, you don't wanna put it in the dryer because the heat can kind of mess with the material, especially if there's glue or special foams or anything like that. Uh, gloves, if you put it in the dryer, it's gonna dry the palms up, you don't want that, so hang it all up to dry. If you have to, you can put jerseys and socks in the dryer, that's fine. And throw a little bounce sheet in there too, make it nice and fresh. All right, let's take a quick look at the gear, see how it turned out. Gloves are looking fresh as the day I bought them, except for those holes in the palm, which is normal wear and tear for having a pair of gloves for a few years. The Viberos are looking good as well, no damage to them from being in the wash, just that from stick handling. Shin pads are still good. 
smell nice and fresh, and they just have the normal wear from 12 years of use. Hockey socks, jock, and socks all looking good. <sighs> you know when the socks and the jock smell good, it's clean. All right, that's it. Remember, don't forget your Stanley Cup. Very important that you have that. And I'm by no means a pro on washing hockey equipment. This is just what works for me. So let me know what works for you in the comment section below, and uh, we can share some tips with the other hockey players. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more hockey videos, we do new hockey videos every single week. So hit that subscribe button, and you'll see the newest ones as they come out. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.